everybody, it's Hunger again, and uh, guess what I'm playing? <laughs> uh, I, I know a couple of you are going to be pretty happy at least. Uh, so, I, I searched around for a while looking at ROM hacks and whatnot, uh, you know, and... Anybody who's, who plays ROM hacks knows that looking for ROM hacks and then trying to download them is kind of a minefield of, you know, there's all kinds of fake files out there or sites that try to redirect you to fishy downloads, you know. So, uh, anyway, uh, I found a couple that, that looked kind of interesting, but I couldn't really find uh, clean downloads for them. Uh, so I said, you know what, I'm going to, you know, Uranium is insanely popular, in case you didn't know what this was. Um, it's insanely popular, and I figured I'd look for it, see what was going on. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I went ahead and, and uh, picked this up, and, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and try Let's Playing it on the channel, so it'll be kind of exciting. This game has a long intro sequence, uh, but you know, I don't mind. Uh, I like uh, when fan games take the effort to do their own intro sequence, you know? Uh, and uh, yeah, so as soon as this intro is over with, we'll go ahead and get started. and powerful and uh, I gotta say I like the way that the full screen on this works a lot better uh, than Pokemon Sage so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started um, I think we're gonna do regular mode to start with yeah yeah we're, we're, we're doing it we got huh who is it oh hello there Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> Look at this dude. My name is Bambo. <laughs> er, but if you find that card to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Uh, let's just say no info needed. Why not? Surprise me. Oh, it's a cat bird. Oh, look at the cat bird. I have next to no knowledge of this game. Like, I've seen, like, a couple screenshots with, like, a radioactive lump of crud or something. Um, but yeah, I know next to nothing about it, so uh, this will all be new to me. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than the animals, more than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People in Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon has kept as pets. That's what I'd be doing with that cat bird thing. Doesn't look like it'd be too much in a fight, but I could, I could definitely keep that as a pet. Others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Yeah. Battles. But there's still so much we don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Scientifically, specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Why are there new types we haven't discovered yet? And why is it every time we, dis we quote unquote discover a new type, some of the old Pokemon that we didn't know were that type suddenly become that type, and have all new weaknesses and resistances? Ah, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. <laughs> Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now if you just fill out this form here, Oh, you have to fill out a form. Who are you? Oh, what is this? It's, it's like, is it like boy, hermaphrodite, girl? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Is it, is it like boy, indeterminate gender, girl? Like, <laughs> we'll, we'll go with this. We're, we're, we're gonna... Are you sure? Yes. I, I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. 
Um. All right. Don't assume. Don't assume. Don't assume my gender. Your name is Don't Assume? <laughs> yes. Yes, we'll go with that. Don't Assume, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, you, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Ooh. Ten years ago, Don't Assume's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Notice how they didn't say his father or her father, just says their father. Is it the same way everywhere? Uh, I don't know. Just, just, just observing things. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Don't Assume. <laughs> the Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or there's a kaiju in the reactor. <laughs> the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... Kaiju in the reactor! <laughs> There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now! Lucille, you have to leave too. Lucille! <laughs> She's gonna stay and fix it. Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille, who became a horrible radioactive monster. Or just died of radiation poisoning. One of the two. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Don't Assume was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bamboo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied, don't assume, and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, don't assume's journey began. <laughs> don't assume, come downstairs, you're late! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. <laughs> Give me that potion. Withdraw item. Hey, we got a potion. Some things never change. Alright. Here we go. 
Oh my gosh. Look at us. Don't assume, sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that we're getting that you're getting ready for that you're ready for this. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to talk at some point, I promise. You and that young boy Theo, always following in your footsteps. That one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He's younger, after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Be running shoes. Be running shoes. Go ahead and open it. Hey! Auntie knows what we need. Uh. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. Never mind, he doesn't care. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. He might even be the final boss or something. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. It's probably really cute. Good luck, sweetie. All right. All right, I changed the configuration around, so... I basically switched the controls around to be as close to, uh... Scandalous. It's anti-sock drawer. <laughs> close to uh, what they were when I was playing Pokemon Sage as I could. Um, and with Sage, I tried to get it as close to my normal configuration as possible. <laughs> uh, so... All right. We're gonna get out of here. Hopefully. There we go. Moki Town. Alright. Look out. So, you're going to be the big breadwinner now, eh? Don't assume? I should pop by to visit your auntie now and again. <laughs> hey! Hey! You keep your lecherous paws off my auntie. So you're finally heading out on an adventure, eh? You take after your old man that way. What is this, Florida? Why are there so many old people? <laughs> My husband's long been an admirer of your father, you know. What are you? Uh -huh. Chin Chin. Oh, don't assume. You're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Hey, that rare candy. Good job, concerned neighbor. Oh, uh, where are we going? Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. Today is a nice day, isn't it? Seems like it's always is around here. You know, no weather effects or anything. Oh, hey, here we go. I bought my son the new video game all the children are playing these days, but now he won't put it down for even a second. Hey, that's what happened. Listen, have you heard of the new video game? It's called Pokemon Red Version. <laughs> it's fantastic. In a world where we have a Wii U, but the, but the game of choice is still Pokemon Red. <laughs> Uh, I think I'd like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. My favorite Pokemon is Cubug. It's so cute. Cubug. Uh, it's gonna take a long time getting used to these new mons. Moki Town, a town of fresh beginnings. Fresh. I wonder what kind of Pokemon lives in this pond. Probably just Magikarp. <laughs> Technology's incredible. I can now trade Pokemon with my friends across the world with the power of the internet. Is it raining? What sound? I'm so jealous you get to have your own Pokemon. My mama says I gotta wait till I'm older. Alright. It's 
sucks to be you. Children grow up so fast. Not long ago, it seemed like I was one myself. Be sure to have fun on your journey. Alright, where are we going? What is this now? Your sign. Route 3 ahead. But it's blocked by rocks that I have to smash. Alright, get it. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Hello, don't assume. Today is the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Sorry, I couldn't get it to move. Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be too. Ah, I remember that day, all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. And then I took an arrow to the knee. No, I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It was an It's an auspicious day indeed. If you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north of town. He's not very patient, so you should probably hurry along and join him. Or I can ransack his room! Oh. Looks like Theo not only, only has a Wii, not a Wii U. No wonder he always wants to come over and play yours. Oh! Oh, the truth revealed? Hello? Snake? Story typed up on the computer. Most awesome Pokemon trainer in the world. By Theo Kane, age 11. <laughs> Looks poorly written. Read it. Oh, yes. We are totally reading his novel. The best, most awesome Pokemon trainer was the champion of Kanto, Johto, and Tandor. He never lost it one single time. His Pokemon were strong and powerful. They were so tough that they got a new evolution called Super Mega Evolve. Everyone thought he was a, he was cool, including his best friend, Donna Sim. That trainer's name was Theo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Theo's fanfic. A cartoon is showing on TV. There are Pokemon wearing clothing and talking like humans. Okay, time to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, best thing ever. Oh. Oh yeah. It's kind it's kind of getting late. I'm recording past my normal time. So we got that that sunset effect. So there is time going on here. That's a thing. Look up here. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region, but there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Just to name a couple, apparently. Oh hey, what's that? So much new stuff here. What do we got? Hey, wait up! Oh my gosh. He's like Cameron, but miniaturized. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, don't assume. Oh, it's just precious. That precious and precocious little runt. Hey, if it isn't, don't assume, and, uh, your friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Trademark. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. What? <laughs> test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry, it's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battle styles. A starter will, a Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it, enough talking, I want to get my Pokemon! Oh, 
Okay, sheesh kid, you're not very patient, are you? Alright, if you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, don't assume, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes. Excellent, so without further ado, when you encounter a new type of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Oh, whoa, hey, I didn't... Next question then, which of these... No! Hey! Okay, I'm... Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Golly! No question about it, I'm gonna be a Pokemon master! Nobody's gonna stand in my way! Oh my gosh. Time to analyze your results. This is so lame. Okay, I finished my analysis. Do not give me a crap Pokemon. I wanted the grass type, but they kept... I was trying to progress the text, and it kept just picking the thing for me. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force, but no, no fire. Saying the best defense is good. Okay. No, no, no. I don't want the fire type. No. Uh, I'm resetting. I'm legit upset at this game right now. Uh, this trainer aptitude test thing is BS. All right, just give me just give me the choice of my starter. I understand what they're going for here and I know that they have it set up to where you can kind of pick your starter by choosing the color-coded answers, but it's one of those things where this is, you know, because of the way the text works in this game, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to push the button to advance the text, and it keeps choosing, and it kept choosing the answer for me, so it, it makes you sit there and be really slow and uh, deliberate with your choices, and... That's not cool, <laughs> you know? Like... Anyway, uh, so yeah, and then, I, and then I had to go ahead and redo the whole freaking intro, which actually takes forever. <laughs> like, it's, it's not a short intro. Can I, will you advance the text, please? Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's what I'm talking about. I'm pushing the button, it's not advancing the text, so I push it again, and then it advances the text and chooses my answer for me. So, I have to be really careful. I'm like hitting the cancel button to advance the text instead of hitting the okay button because it's so stupid. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna stop ranting now and get my grass type. Ugh. Give me my, give me my Pokemon. Ugh. I swear. Don't assume. You seem to be a trainer that who likes to play it safe. Patience and endurance are your biggest assets. You know that the best things in life come to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you... Thank you! Oh, yeah, you think I might have wanted the grass-type kitty? Oh, jeez. Orchinks? It's like Orchid and Lynx. Go ahead and take it, don't assume. Gimme. Mine. Would you like to give a nickname to it? Yes. I shall call it Catnip. <laughs> hey! I'm tired of waiting! Don't assume got their starter already, when do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and you care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? 
Or maybe it's just that you're young. I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you... Elitux? Really? Not, not the impulsive fire type thing that they were going to give me the first time. Okay, whatever. Yes! My first Pokémon! Don't assume you have a Pokémon, and now I have a Pokémon too! And you know what this means, right? It's we have to battle! Oh please, not in the lab. Please not in the lab, please not in the lab, please not in the lab! <laughs> okay. Catnip do. Um, leech seed duck. You have them seeds. We're having a battle. Hey, go give me that health. This thing's design is very much Gatomon meets Battle Cat. <laughs> oh, come on! This thing has static. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Did you not? I'm gonna need you to just keep giving me that health. Sweet! Delicious HP. Get it. Ah, refreshing. <laughs> yeah. You're just losing, ain't you? Go ahead and catch this L. Get him. Trainers never lose. I, I. Please don't cry, Theo. <laughs> Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Oh, you best heal mine too. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and don't assume, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way! I want to do over! How come don't assume gets the better starter? I'm going home! Alright. Sweet. See you later. <sighs> he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. Even though he's like a year older than most Pokemon protagonists. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. And then he'll quit. Yeah, that's what I want out of this. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. 
See you later, Dota Sim. Oh my gosh. Do we have to have a tutorial? Like, seriously. I'm researching a new kind of Pokemon potion right now. Okay. Like, seriously. If we found this demo online, or this, de if we found this game online, we know what Pokemon is, okay? <laughs> no need to hold our hands. Like, can we... Is this Theo's house? I don't know. I'm gonna find Theo's house. Alright, here we go. <laughs> he didn't want to look at me. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear, if you did anything to hurt him... Just battle me, old man. Oh. So that's how it is. He got the weaker starter, and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see. That explains it. A harsh lesson, to be sure. But losing is as much a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still, crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. <laughs> Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. Dennis, you've got the better starter. And you, me, and now I'm never gonna win. And you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad! <laughs> now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Don't assume, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot, don't assume. Theo, I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Don't assume your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will come in useful. A poke pod. Now we can listen to music. It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It, 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 it plays MP3s. It plays music and includes the map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stake it to... Okay, then why is it a poke phone? I don't get it. <laughs> cool, I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Dota Sue. <laughs> well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Don't assume you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving too. You, I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant, Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there, in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. Best of luck on your journey, don't assume. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's getting dark, let's start a Pokemon journey. <laughs> I gotta show Auntie my new Pokemon. Hello, honey. Taking a break from all that tiring adventuring? I, you asked me to bring my Pokemon by, and I did. It's quiet without you around, you know. Those kids next door seem very interested in your Wii. I let them play it. Oh, no, you didn't. They could have messed up my save file. Hang on. It's okay, I checked my saves. They're all good. Don't let them play that again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey there, don't assume. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a field research aide. Now watch closely as I catch this Pokemon. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass, but that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves, water, and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Oh gosh, they got me! Oh. 
Look, it's a wild chinamunk. A chinmunk? They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Raptorch! This little guy has the. It was the other starter Pokemon you could have received, but didn't because, you know, aptitude tests and things and resetting the game and yeah i think he's taking a shine to me and i rather like him too so i'm going to keep him now the next step is to weaken the enemy pokemon and make it easier to catch raptorch use scratch <laughs> sorry now that it's weakened is my chance to catch it pokeball go And that's how it's done. Now, Shin Myung can are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are both harder to capture. And, and for you, though, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Meh. Ah, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. I mean, don't assume. Theo, these are for you. Oh boy, it's a Pokedex. Hey. That Pokedex is an encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Yeah, give me those Pokeballs. Pokeballs are necessary for capturing Pokemon, of course. What's that thing you kids always say? Gotta catch them all? Oh my gosh, you were so lame. If you run out, you can pick up some more Pokemon at any Pokemon. They also carry them at Walmart. <laughs> Moki Town doesn't have one of those, but there's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. So with that said, your lesson is now over. Oh, but you two have Pokepods, don't you? Here, let me input my number. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, so here's my number. <laughs> so call me, maybe. <laughs> You can give me a call anytime and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. That's not anything creepy, by the way. I'm just going to give you items. Don't be weird. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. And no crying, little kid. <laughs> Don't assume, I don't care that you've got the stronger starter. I'm still gonna be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. You're gonna cry a lot during this journey. Road to Kevlar Town, okay. Grass. There's grass here. Like he takes one step in, gets an encounter. I walk around all this time, nothing. Oh, here we go. Alright. Uh, just precious. Look at me. I'm not Pikachu at all. Get him. in the interface. Get it. Alright. What are you doing? Shoot, it was so close too. Really? Maybe not. Barely any health left. You're level two. Get in the ball. There we go. 
Shiyin Monk. What the heck? The Chipmunk Pokemon. The length of a Shin Monk's stripes determines its authority in a group. If it spots a predator, it shrieks loudly to warn the others, and it's a normal type. Yes. I shall call it not Pikachu. <laughs> oh, experience for capture. Confirmed. All right. Okay, well, uh, cleared the intro. <laughs> so uh, that's going to go ahead and be it for this episode. I will explore Route 1 next time, so look forward to that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.